Uh, good day to all. Today we're going to discuss about 555 timer used in PWM uh, circuits. Uh, before we proceed, we will discuss something how uh, 555 timer works and how it is configured to work as a monostable uh, as a multi vibrator. So a multi vibrator will just uh, give on and off on and off uh, signal so through this we can utilize this one uh, to output as a PWM by manipulating the adjutor cycle of the output of the uh, 555 timer so this one the output with this one will be high and uh, while it is reaching the two-third of the threshold level the output of this one will become low and while uh, it is discharging the capacitor is discharging then it reaches one third of the BCC go back to one third of the BCC and this one will also give a low output voltage so that is that's how the 555 uh, timer uh, multi vibration uh, configuration so here this is our 24 volts and it goes to our uh, regulator 5 volts and now here I'm using 5 volts regulator then it gives an output of 5 volts here and uh, it is uh, supplied to the timer 8 is the uh, positive of the uh, timer and 1 is the negative side of the timer so here how it works uh, normally a timer uh, this is the output of the timer but if you are going to uh, use timer as a PWM circuit you will utilize the output of this one as the control circuit if you use to uh, wire uh, configure the 555 timer the usual way around uh, you cannot uh, give you cannot achieve a good PWM output so this is the one of the best way to wire the PWM uh, 555 as a PWM you utilize the output as the control of the circuit so uh, here your output of the PWM at pin number 3 so you are going to uh, utilize this one to supply the uh, this is a 5k potentiometer and then this is a 1N 4148 uh, high speed diode and then it this is your uh, threshold the uh, pin and pin number two is your uh, pin so while uh, you have a positive voltage here you're going to charge your uh, timing capacitor until so this is this is this is your capacitor here until uh, it will reaches two-thirds of the BCC of your which is five volts five volts from our regular time two-thirds of that uh, until you reach two-thirds of that uh, you're giving a high output a high output here and then uh, and then you're giving the high output uh, until uh, your your capacitor starts to discharge here we're using this is the discharge of the uh, 555 timer but we are going to utilize the discharge of the 555 timer to control your uh, transistor here we are using the in-channel MOSFET and this is your uh, load this is your PWM uh, load here I'm using a small DC motor and connected to 24 volts and this is our suppression diode so this is how uh, it is wired like here, here like that so uh, let us see how this uh, circuit behave in 
actual way okay we are going to power on this one so i already prepared the circuit here so let us going to power on this one so here uh, this is our 5k this is our 5k potentiometer this is the uh, our high speed diode then it is fed to the uh, threshold and trigger of the PWM uh, of the 555 timer with the 6 and 2 and here I'm using uh, 0 0.01 microfad uh, 0 0.001 microfad capacitor uh, this is our timing capacitor and this is our capacitor and pin, uh, pin number 5 also and here is our 555 timer this one is our uh, this is our uh, end channel MOSFET this is our bias transistor for uh, our uh, MOSFET so this one this is the one this is this transistor I'm using I'm using this uh, MOSFET and this is our 5 volt regulator this is our supply comes from here and this is our output going to our DC motor now let us going to trace this one in the oscilloscope how this one will behave and how this one is uh, would this one be advantageous over the uh, quad op amp uh, PWM let us see now let us try so let us switch on the power supply let us put this one in zero So the, let us continue. So I hook up now our oscilloscope. So the yield trace will be um, connected to our uh, potentiometer here, and our blue trace, the blue trace, will be connected to the output uh, to the signal going to our. Um, MOSFET so let us start the circuit now so right away when you are setting this one to low or zero output it is already giving an output see look at this our motor is already running at very, very low power and let us see also in the oscilloscope this is going to stop it so here we can say that our uh, our control uh, signal we cannot really give a zero signal to our to our 555 timer even though we are going to uh, set this one to very very low but we are really getting about uh, uh, 200 microseconds charging time to our capacitor so at that moment it is giving also an output of uh, about this much to our PWM uh, to our motor so we cannot give a zero output we cannot produce an output that is zero uh, at the start using this uh, 555 timer now let us going to increase our output by increasing the potential drop. now we are increasing the power of our motor see it 
we cannot stop it with our hand and you can see also here the output in the oscilloscope see look at that now I'm going to increase more so this is now 100% output uh, PWM I will reduce that one So we are now uh, about we are now about one, two, three, four, five, six, six times two, uh, one thousand two hundred uh, milliseconds. Our So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 times 2, one, this is about 1,400 milliseconds. And now uh, there are some glitches over here. So, this PWM using our 555 timer is not an effective uh, circuit to control, to give an output of real PWM from 0 to uh, 100 percent because we cannot achieve zero we cannot achieve zero here we are achieving about one two three about may about 35 percent only and r uh, 35 percent only is our minimum uh, output minimum output we can uh, achieve using this uh, 555 timer and our max we can achieve 100% of this but we cannot switch off we cannot give an initial very very low output PWM so this 555 timer compared to this uh, quad of amp that we have uh, experimented uh, how many days back is much effective than this one and this uh, the quad of one will can deliver from zero to 100 percent output so this one is not very effective even though our circuit is uh, this a uh, very good circuit already that we can arrive using the 555 timer so that's it for today so i have I hope you learn uh, from this uh, experiment. So, all I can say is uh, create and participate in our evolution of uh, doing something. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you.